You're watching Great at Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host, and I have someone who is a volunteer extraordinaire as far as I'm concerned. Nancy Crucius, you've been involved in so many things I can't even keep track of them anymore. I can't either. Okay, and you just came off of a successful summer fest. We did, in yes. In Brockton, and now we have a downtown fest, Brockton, because it's fall. Yes. Big deal because it's 12 days long. It's right? 12 days long. There's activities every every day. There's from, something going on every day. From? Um, it depends on the day. Most yeah. of the most of the weekdays it starts at six or six thirty. Mm -hmm. uh, the weekends are ten to four. It just depends on what's going on that particular day. Sometimes there's two or three things going on. Sometimes there's ten. Well, and it starts on September 27th. Yes, Thursday, September 27th. Uh, there'll be a coffee hour at um, the downtown museum, and that's how uh, Bill Hogan starts the festival. Mm -hmm. And then um, each day there, there's something else. On Friday, we're having a record hop. There's going to be a, um, a program at the Brockton Library on Friday, and it's going to be about the boxers, uh, the Brockton boxers. I saw that. That's what I saw yes. on, on Facebook. And Todd, I guess Todd Petty's involved Todd in that? Todd Petty's involved. He's going to talk about Rocky Marciano. And we'll have several of the um, Brockton boxers. Attendance. And then that's going to be at the library from like 2 to 8. Mm -hmm. Todd Petty's going to be on at 3 o'clock. And then at 8 o'clock, we're moving to Joe Angelo's, and we're going to have a record hop. There you go. And it goes all the way till October 8th. And there's uh, weekend events. Um, mm -hmm. Uh, Prava, who has been doing all summer long, they've been doing summer concerts yes. on, uh, at, I think it's 120, the former Kresge's building former at 121 building. Main right, Street. Right. Um, and they're going to be part of this celebration. They're going to be part of the, our celebration too. Town Brockton, we include in our, in our festival. Uh, just be all inclusive. And Prava will be having um, events on Thursday night, Friday night, and they plan to be there on Saturday as well. We're not sure what time yet on Saturday, but they plan to have something on Saturday as well. Saturday and Sunday, the first weekend, is a big weekend. We have um, the marketplace. We're going to have music. We're going to have a car show. There's going to be vendors. There's going to be children's activities. There's going to be just a lot of stuff going on both that Saturday and Sunday. So a magic show on there? Uh, that okay. uh, loves magic show will will do it again. They were part of it last year, yeah. and uh, Bill Hogan is going to talk to uh, Chris again this year to see make sure that he's going to be involved. Okay, um, we can't give it all away. Can't give we it just, all away. And you want to go? We're we're gonna yeah. we're gonna be there with cameras, but we're not going to tell you what we're going to cover because what we're going to do is we're going to sample it mm -hmm. and we'll put it on after the fact. There's nothing like being there. We go to summer fest. We do the Cape Verdean fest. We do the, right. getting ready to do the Greek festival, right. the Lebanese festival. We go. It's better to go in person because mm -hmm. there's stuff to do. Stuff uh, most to of it's free. Yes. Okay, and you get food. Yes. As uh, far as we know, Lady C, we plan on Lady C and J being there with with her um, with her with her delicious food. Yeah. Um, and Bill Hogan will have his hot dogs, so mm -hmm. we'll have the hoagie dogs, um, and so yeah, we'll just see what else. Um, we're we're looking for more vendors, um, more donations, more vendors, <laughs> more children's activities. Um, Doing that, I'm, I'm putting the word out. So, are you the person to contact? Uh, Bill and I. Bill, okay. Bill sometimes, and me sometimes. It just depends on who knows who. Okay. Contact info. Contact info would be Bill Hogan. His email is um, Hoagies Hobbies at Comcast. At I'm sorry, Hoagies Hobbies at Gmail dot com. Okay. And mine is Nancy K seventy six at Comcast dot net. It's a K. It's easy. Yes. Real simple. Um, it, it goes back to way back when I was DBA chair, there was Brocktoberfest mm. before John Marion got involved. We used to do that in October because people think about, you know, all the German Oktoberfests right. and things like right. that. I remember like we had all the politicians running for statewide office come to Brockton. Some of them got off the train yep. back in the day. This is great. The, the old cars, especially the yes. vintage cars. Brockton back in the day was known for people cruising the drag. Cru so some I of those <laughs> will be here. Yes. And yep. so we'll is, is that wheels of time or different uh, folks? No, it is a different uh, person, and I can't think of the name of the top of my head. We have a lot of them Robert. in the downtown Brockton Robert holiday somebody. parade, too, Yeah. during, during the, the right. holiday parade. And uh, that's always a hit with the kids. The kids 
you know, those cars were made in the day, the chrome on those cars and, yeah. the, and the pride that people take in maintaining them over the years. I, I was up in Maine for vacation and they're vintage and they're great and people treat them like... They treat them like their baby. Exactly. Right, right. Exactly. Yeah, no, and these, these um, the, the participants in the car show, I mean, they really take very good care of their cars. So they're, they're nice cars. They so really you, are. you need donations. Do you, know donations? you need more people to help participate so you can fill out the whole program yep. and people to come. People to come. Okay. And uh, it's been growing every year. Word is getting out. People know about it now. So um, it's, it's getting getting bigger each year. And we, this is a sixth year. We've, mm -hmm. we've been doing this for six. This is a sixth year. So five years are down. So um, we're hoping for good weather. Yeah. Lots of times we have rain. Uh, the first weekend, but you know we're hoping for good weather, and um, we'll see how if it goes. If you get rain, you shift it a little bit. We you shift things a little bit, things right? We move some or... things indoors, some things we have tops and things like that. Um, we've had we've had a few rainy Saturdays, and we just move everything to Sunday. But this year was going to be both Saturday. So we're hoping that both days will be good, and then the following weekend um, is a sports weekend. There's going to be softball and and different things at Salisbury Park. So. Right. Um, we, Which we is, as far as I'm concerned, a part of the greater downtown. It if is. If you really think about downtown, we've always had this little definition of downtown, but downtown to me goes all the way over, like to Salisbury Park yeah, and Plymouth Street. Yeah, it does. And it could even go over to Warren Avenue it and does. include yep. Elden B. Keith Field. Right, it does. And and now you got the. And Frederick uh, Douglass Park. Frederick yeah. Douglass, yeah. and also, what is it, um, the, the, the Arts Gallery on Dover Street. Oh, to me, yes, that's yes, downtown the Brockton too. Brockton Cultural Arts. If you think about it, Brockton yeah. has a little tiny downtown. But if yeah. we just expanded it out a little it's, bit, it's, it would. It's not really small. I mean, you even if you look um, going south. I mean, you're looking at the Brockton Library and Joe right. Angelo's. Right. You know, that's really part of downtown because that's where Yulian's and Gailey's were. Right. So that is part of downtown. Um, yeah, I guess so. it's the city. The yeah. Central Area Revitalization District, which, believe it or not, stops halfway in the middle of Court Street here. I'm not part of that. Oh. North Main is not part of the downtown, but we were part of the downtown right. because we were the first building that renovated. 82, they built the old cable, the Continental Cable yes. Building. Okay. This one we rescued in 94. This was Irving's, a, this was a bank. It was bank, Brockton yeah. Savings Bank right. and a few banks. Irving's Home Center across the street mm -hmm. They redid their whole building, and the Times building was totally redone by Yanni Davos. So if you look at it, the first parish building needs some help. Brockton Redevelopment Authority just took that. Mm -hmm. um, the Enterprise block is all done. We just need tenants in it. Right. And now that the garage is going to be built on Petronelli Way, a lot. So any final thoughts? I got the one-minute queue. You can have part of that time. Um, I just hope that a lot of people come out for uh, Downtown Fest Brockton this year. Um, it's It's... We're planning a really wonderful, you know, hopefully they'll find something that really interests them, bring the families, you know, see what, see what downtown, it's a community pro program. You and we're going to get Petula Clark to sing. I'm sorry? Petula Clark's going to sing the downtown Wouldn't song. Wouldn't that be nice? I just saw a thing on uh, CBS Sunday morning because I, I think she passed. But, Did she uh, really? Yeah. There used to be signs for downtown. But I got the rap cue, so I got to okay. go. Nancy, anything you're involved in always turns out good. Thank you for coming here and <laughs> sharing you. and you. help all your volunteer help. Thank you. You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host. Stay tuned for more events, places, people, and faces right here in the City of Champions.